on the old switch on here. Remember this old de-energized. Now the sodium bulb here and I'm testing this amp square hour meter but I know it's really interesting in the inverse current on the amp meter when this lamp starts off. So I'm going to plug it in and watch the meter. Ignite are doing its bit. Tick, 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 tick. It's quite interesting. The meter is uh, one amp meter, so the 400 ampere is one ampere. This meter, and I will see how it goes and should taper off. It's interesting to see the igniter doing its job. Got a steady load here, one ampere. I'll probably tape off a bit. Analog meters are always quite good for this type of work. So I'll show you the scale on this meter. Where is it? 400 to 1, there it is. Four. This meter has taken off. I'll take the cover off shortly. You probably can see the disc. I'll just go a bit lower. Going pretty fast. And this is the label. Meters rated for C or used for the CT ratio 1200 to 1 ampere in its previous life. Ampere quadrat ure meter for whistle storm, that is an amp square hour meter for alternating current. Maple London in gear, Zug Switzerland. Uh, the lamp is stabilized. It's coming orange slowly. I don't know if you can see it. There's a bit of orange glow in there. It's still all over to the meter. Oh, it's 82,000. It should be pretty quick. Go 82,000 m square hours times 10,000. Typical lenders and gear mirror type disc. Not sure if you can see it in here, but it's interesting. This is a gear increase on this meter here. This this particular gear. Normally you've got uh, drive, a reduction, 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 but this is increasing the speed to the register. Daylight is always awesome to record anything. Natural daylight has the best color rendering. The note meter only has two wires going in. An active going in, active going out. There's no neutral. Old metal gear train, of course. I will take the register off so you can see the actual drive. So, you got this is instead of potential calls, a current call. And as the two, where the normal current call is, there's two current calls as well. I'll see if we can get this on camera. Well, that's the register. The connection uh, diagram on the name on the terminal cover. The HPS lamp current is just on the one ampere. 
Another current call is that this just underneath the disc is the two calls. That is your normal current call. Quite interesting the way they've designed this device. I did have an old uh, Siemens hour meter, but I can't find it. That was designed with a similar principle, disc drive, but calibrated to do exactly one hour per hour. If I'll find it, I'll put a YouTube video up. I did a video on this thing many years ago, but I thought I might as well do another one. New connect collectors may have missed some of the older videos. Press up on the nameplate, so the meter type is in uh, QFI 1200 to 1 ampere. Constant is 0, 000, oh, sorry, 0, 000, 175 anchor. Our rotation is up a amp square hour. The number is crossed out at uh, 50 Hz. The silly part is the number is crossed out, but it's still a zero number, it's still on the lid. I can't really use it, let's see it. Barely. I did see it somewhere. Oh, there it is, on top of the meter. Here we go, that's the serial number of the meter 2762410. It's probably about an hour later, it's happily turning around. The Jabloshka candle. And the current sits at about uh, 360, that's about 0 0.9 ampere. Time to unplug the devices. Final reading of this device is now uh, 82208. Dodgy wiring, but that doesn't matter. Unplug safety first. Deanagas device.